Can you believe white is winning here? I know what you're thinking. Easy win after I push this pawn. But now after rook d6, you went from a winning position to a losing endgame. Because the king is forced to go to a5, and the king has this square to eliminate this pawn on the next move. Instead, push the pawn. If your friend takes, he's gone. After c7 attacking the rook. But what's the difference compared to pushing c7 straight away? The pawn now on b6 creates a shelter for the king that cannot be checked on d6 anymore by the rook. The black rook is now forced to stay on the 8th rank to stop this pawn from queening. And surprise, checkmate! So taking on b6 was a blunder. Let's say your friend saw the bishop checkmate, which I highly, I highly doubt, doubt, and plays the best move rook d6 instead. Now I'm sure the first move that came to your mind is pushing this pawn again, but you would lose after rook check and simply bringing the king to capture the pawn on the next move. So pushing was again a mistake. But what about protecting the pawn this way? King b8, there is a nice trick. Because if you thought that taking this pawn would make you win this game, well, not after this rook sacrifice, because when the king takes, stalemate. I never said that the solution was going to be easy to this exercise. But I like this position because it teaches you a ton of tricks you can use in your games. Just seeing these patterns help you identify tricks in your games, even if the position is slightly different actually. But you clicked on this video to see how we win this. So let's go back to it. Now I have two tricks for you. Trick number one, sacrifice the bishop. If rook takes, I know this sounds crazy, but you have a checkmate in 10 moves. Only now you push the pawn. In blitz, most of your friends will blunder trying to stop this pawn from queening and they're gonna get checkmated by a pawn. But let's say you play higher rated players who understand that the only way to try and draw this game is to sacrifice the rook with rook a5. You take and now king b7. Now capture the pawn. And when he takes, trick number two. How do you end up in a totally winning position on the next move? Small hint, not by playing the first move that came to your mind. 